You don't get wisdom and stature and favor with God and men unless you push through some things. I have to tell you, I find this fascinating because I think we have done such a good job at exalting the divinity of Jesus that we miss out on what makes him our kinsman redeemer. That he, like you, had to grow with wisdom and stature and favor with God and men. He had to push through some immaturity. Mary had to go back and get him. He had to push through understanding who he was in the context of the world. He had to push through 18 years of something before he could even be used. He had to push through some things. This push is different. This push is a defining push. I believe God gave me this message. Because there is someone, and maybe it's just me, standing at one of the most pivotal pushes in their life. They're having to push through in a way that they've never had to push through before. This push is different because if Jesus pushes through this moment, it's going to break open a dam. If Jesus pushes through this moment, it's going to establish his ministry. This is not the same push of a 12-year-old boy. This is a push of a 30-year-old man. This is a push that will determine whether or not he can be the Savior. This is the push that will determine whether or not he's qualified for the call. This is the push that will determine if the devil that got Adam and Eve will be the devil that got him. This is the push that will break the generational curse. This is the push. I don't know who you are, but I wanted to let you know that this is the push that's going to define your family. This is the push that is going to define how you connect and how you engage this, this push. Oh God. Adam and Eve are in the garden with the serpent in Genesis. Jesus is in the wilderness with Satan and Matthew. From the outside looking in, the scene probably looks the same. But before Jesus could step into his call, he had to fight a devil that wasn't even his own. Because he had to let the devil know that you cannot use the same trick on me that you used on them. I'm not going to let you in my head. Some of you are not even fighting your own devil. Some of you are fighting the devil of those who came before you. But I hear God saying you had to fight them now so that when I released you, that devil would know as you took your first step that this is not the same kind of woman. This is not the same kind of man. I got to use something different because I'm not going to let the same thing that took them out. It's not the same. You can't step into destiny until you pass the test of defeating a devil that don't even belong to you. You cannot step into destiny until you pass the test of recognizing what this is. This is not about you. This is about devils that were here before you. But baby, when they ran into you, they ran into a problem. 